In the vast and ever-evolving global tech cosmos, a new star has emerged from China, capturing the attention of the world's most innovative minds and industry leaders. Its arrival is sending shockwaves through Silicon Valley, the traditional heart of technological innovation, sparking both curiosity and concern among its top executives and engineers. This isn't just another incremental upgrade or a slightly faster processor, it's a leap into an entirely new paradigm. At the center of this revolution is a photonic quantum AI chip, unveiled to the world in late 2025, promising to transform the very foundation of computing. The chip, which won the prestigious Leading Technology Award at the World Internet Conference Wuzhen Summit, is not a distant concept or a prototype. It's an industrial-grade product, fully developed and ready for real-world deployment across industries. Unlike many theoretical breakthroughs that remain confined to research papers, this is a tangible, silicon and light marvel. It stands as a direct challenge to the long-standing dominance of electron-based computing, opening new possibilities for speed and efficiency. Companies built on traditional chips now face a formidable new competitor, one that harnesses the speed of light itself, potentially leaving conventional processors in the dust. This story is about ambition, innovation, and the relentless push to redefine what's possible at the intersection of quantum mechanics, material science, and artificial intelligence. It's a testament to human ingenuity and the drive to break boundaries. As we explore this remarkable breakthrough, we'll discover how it could shift the balance of technological power worldwide, ushering in a new era where the East takes center stage in the race for the future. To truly grasp the significance of this chip's impact let's take a step back and revisit the fundamental principles of how computers operate. Our journey begins with the basics, but quickly leads us to the cutting edge of technology. For decades computers have relied on the movement of electrons through intricate networks of transistors. These tiny switches form the backbone of our digital world, enabling everything from simple calculations to the most complex artificial intelligence. The flow of electrons is what has powered the information age, shaping the way we live, work, and connect. But as we push the boundaries of what's possible, we're running into physical limits, heat, energy consumption, and the speed at which electrons can travel. These challenges have forced scientists and engineers to search for a new approach, leading to the dawn of photonic computing. Instead of relying on electrons, photonic chips harness the power of photons, particles of light, Photons travel at unmatched speeds and with minimal energy loss, making them ideal for the next generation of ultra-fast, energy-efficient computers. This Chinese chip takes things even further, merging the world of photonics with the mind-bending possibilities of quantum computing. In this realm, quantum bits, or qubits, can exist in multiple states at once, unlocking computational power far beyond classical machines like Sachin's. By using photons as qubits the chip manipulates quantum properties at the speed of light. This enables calculations and simulations that were once unimaginable, opening up new frontiers in science, cryptography, and artificial intelligence. It's not just an upgrade, it's a leap into a new dimension of information processing, where the rules of classical computing no longer apply. This device literally thinks with light, harnessing the universe's most fundamental laws to process information in ways we're only beginning to imagine. The result is a revolutionary leap in computing power, opening doors to problems that classical computers could never hope to solve. The cosmic dance of light and logic has only just begun. For years, NVIDIA's GPUs have powered the AI revolution, dominating data centers worldwide. Their chips have become the gold standard for machine learning, deep learning, and the massive computations that drive today's artificial intelligence. From self-driving cars to language models, NVIDIA's hardware is the backbone of modern AI infrastructure, and their influence stretches across every major tech sector. But now, a new contender has emerged from China, the photonic chip. This breakthrough technology, changes the game by using light instead of electricity to process information, sidestepping the heat and speed bottlenecks that have long limited traditional chips. By harnessing photons, these chips can transmit data at the speed of light, opening up possibilities that were previously out of reach for electronic circuits. Unlike NVIDIA's energy-hungry chips, the photonic chip runs cooler and more efficiently, a crucial edge in today's energy-conscious world. As data centers struggle with rising power costs and environmental concerns, the ability to reduce heat and energy consumption is more important than ever. Photonic chips could help data centers operate more sustainably, while also slashing operational costs. 
the most dramatic claim? For certain complex problems, the photonic chip can be up to a thousand times faster than even the top NVIDIA GPUs. This isn't just a small step forward, it's a leap that could redefine what's possible in high-performance computing. However, this speed advantage is highly specialized, applying only to specific types of computationally intensive tasks. This isn't about faster gaming or web browsing, it's about accelerating tasks like molecular simulations, material design, and financial modeling. These are the kinds of problems that require immense processing power, and can take days or even weeks to solve with conventional hardware. For researchers and analysts, the photonic chip could mean breakthroughs in drug discovery, new materials, and financial strategies. The chip acts as a specialized accelerator, working alongside classical computers to tackle the hardest computational challenges. It doesn't replace existing CPUs or GPUs, but instead complements them, taking on the most demanding parts of a workload while leaving routine tasks to traditional processors. Think of it as a grandmaster solving the toughest chess endgames, while traditional chips handle the rest. This partnership allows for a smarter, more efficient approach to problem solving, where each processor type plays to its strengths. This hybrid quantum classical approach targets high-value niches, threatening NVIDIA's dominance in critical sectors, industries that depend on rapid large-scale computation like pharmaceuticals, advanced materials and finance, could see a major shift in their technological landscape. The photonic chip isn't a replacement, it's a new class of coprocessor, poised to carve out a lucrative market. As the technology matures, it could become an essential tool for solving the world's most complex problems, ushering in a new era of computing innovation. Behind this breakthrough is a powerful alliance between Chinese academia and entrepreneurial vision. The ChipX hub in Wuxi, linked to Shanghai Jiao Tong University, provides deep research expertise. Turing Quantum, led by Professor Jin Xianmen, translates theory into industrial-scale products. This partnership blends state-backed research with agile startup execution, accelerating innovation from lab to market. China's strategy, invest in deep tech, bridge the gap between discovery and production, and rapidly commercialize breakthroughs. The result is not just a chip, but a model for global innovation, one that other nations are watching closely. Building a chip that computes with light demands new materials and manufacturing methods. The foundation is thin film lithium niobate, prized for its optical precision, bonded onto standard silicon wafers. On a single 6 inch wafer, over a thousand optical components are integrated. An achievement in photonic miniaturization. In June 2024, ChipX launched China's first pilot line for these wafers, moving from prototypes to scalable production. The current capacity, about 12,000 wafers per year, yielding millions of chips, small by semiconductor standards, but huge for quantum photonics. Development cycles have shrunk from six months to two weeks, enabling rapid iteration and improvement. The architecture is scalable, with a roadmap toward million qubit systems. This marks the transition from scientific curiosity to industrial reality in quantum photonics. Unlike many quantum projects, this photonic AI chip is already in real-world use, solving complex problems across industries. In aerospace, it accelerates simulations for aircraft and spacecraft design, optimizing materials and shapes faster than ever. In biomedicine, it simulates molecular interactions, speeding up drug discovery and reducing time to market for new therapies. In finance, it runs advanced risk analyses and simulations, helping institutions make smarter, faster decisions. The chip acts as a quantum accelerator, giving existing systems a powerful boost for previously unsolvable challenges. Its impact is tangible, reshaping industries today, not just promising future potential. This is Quantum Advantage, delivered now. The claim of a thousand-fold speedup is thrilling, but it's not universal. This chip isn't a general-purpose processor, it's a specialist, excelling at problems with massive complexity and quantum effects. For tasks like molecular simulation or optimization, it surveys vast solution spaces at once, something classical computers can't match. But for everyday tasks, emails, browsing, editing, classical CPUs remain superior. Using a quantum chip for routine jobs is like using a space telescope to find your keys. Impressive, but inefficient. Today's quantum devices are designed to augment, not replace, classical computers. 
The thousand times speed up applies to specific benchmarks, not all computing. For universe size problems, this chip offers a universe sized advantage. For everything else, classical computers still rule. Despite this achievement, the road to widespread adoption is filled with challenges. Quantum states are fragile, easily disrupted by environmental factors, leading to errors and instability. Ensuring reliability and developing robust error correction will require years of research. Manufacturing is another hurdle. Thin film lithium neobate is delicate and costly, and current production is tiny compared to global demand. Scaling up will need major investment, refined techniques, and a strong supply chain. Software is also a barrier. New hardware needs new programming models and developer expertise. Without a robust software ecosystem, the chip's potential remains locked away. Overcoming these hurdles will determine if this breakthrough truly transforms the world. This photonic quantum AI chip signals a potential shift in the global tech landscape. For decades, Silicon Valley led innovation, but China's breakthrough challenges that dominance. By mass-producing a world-first photonic quantum chip, China positions itself as a genuine pioneer. This could reshape competition in AI, communications, and quantum networking, the pillars of the 21st century. Companies like NVIDIA now face a new, formidable rival, likely accelerating global R&D. This race will push technology forward, benefiting humanity as a whole. The future of computing will be built by global collaboration, not a single nation. With this new star rising in the east, the dance of innovation just got a lot more exciting.